Femi Falano, a senior Nigeria Council and human rights activist, recently slammed the DSS for apprehending people in Igbo's apartment in the absence of the key suspect. This action by the DSS, according to the activist, is no longer legal in Nigeria. Femi Falano revealed during an interview with Ob- Objective Media that was posted on YouTube on 15th of July 2021, in which he stated, you can't be looking for a suspect and then decide to arrest everyone living in the house because you can't find him. It is not the position of Nigeria law. The only thing that can be done in this case is to get a court order declaring the suspect wanted. According to the instruction given by the professional lawyer and activist, you can't be hunting for Mr. A and arresting his wife and children since our laws have changed from that position. He also stated that he knows lawyers have petitioned the court regarding individuals arrested in Ibuwu's residence in order to seek a legal remedy and that they will be released in due course. He insisted that those who were murdered by the DSS operatives in Igbo's apartment must undergo a coroner's examination so that the cause of death can be determined and appropriate action taken. You may recall that Igbo's residence, which is located in the Soka area of Ibadan, was allegedly raided by jointly security forces led by the DSS early this month, resulting in the death of two people and the arrest of several others, including a lady, while the prime suspect remained at large. <laughs> oh my God. They will tell you bail is free. Police is your friend. But in reality, is that what it is? No. They will tell you bail is free. But he's, you will pray, to, pray through your nose. And that's why people are just praying that anything that will take them politicians, they should just avoid it. Because if you go there, hey God, if there's anything that will take you there, they will make life uncomfortable and miserable for you. You'll be surprised and you'll even prefer armed robbers. So some of the way these police people behave. Well, the question is that most, if, well, when it comes to law, People see it from a different uh, angle. That's why they will say you have to prove it beyond reasonable doubt to ascertain whether the person is guilty or not. When a lawyer begins to talk like this, does that mean that the government does not know that they are doing the wrong thing? Even with the rearrest of Unam de Kanu, some people are saying it is a kidnap. They are always doing the wrong thing. When the government is doing the wrong thing, how do you expect the populace to do the right thing? How do you expect them to be law-abiding when most of the time the government is always not law-abiding, not obeying the rule of law, but they want every Nigerian to obey every of their policy and every of the law in the land? Yes. That is what they want people to do. Do what I do, what I say, but don't do what I do. That's what it means. Don't do what I say. Don't do what I do. So if this uh, could be illegal, so you want to tell us that uh, these people do not know or they just act with impunity that nothing will happen. They are the ones in charge. Of course, it it does happen. The new IGP telling the police that even if it's going to resort to abuse of their human rights, if you are going for the those who have perpetrated evil, even if it's going to affect their fundamental human rights, that they should not bother, they should just go ahead, that every of those cases will come to his table. So what does that tell you? If it comes to his table, that it is going to be dead on arrival. Hmm. Respected son, Falano, thanks so much. The position of law is very clear on this. You don't arrest an innocent person because you are looking for a criminal. I don't even know where the SS or police derived this authority from. There is high level of insanity in all this abuse of human rights. The whole thing is provocative. Please, they should have, okay, okay, uh, uh, should do the needful. Which governments uh, engage in numerous impunity and uh, criminalities like this regime except military dictatorship? The federal government's appear and image is already 
insurance if you don't know. Do they care? Did they tell you they care? They do not care. They don't care. They do not care. <laughs> I don't even know some so-called lawyer talk about defending their clients as if the God Almighty by by rights is law the only pride profession in Nigeria. Not easy to be a lawyer. He knows left and right when matter arising. Just the look and give good education to your children. Please. Oh God of creation, direct our noble cause and guys are leaders right. Are we practicing democracy or crazy demo? Ethnicity in play. How many killer is me? Bandit spokesman. Spokesman taken to custody. Citizens are watching their actions and history we judge them all because we have God. Yes, we do have God. All these people arrested are possible conspirators, accomplices, accomplices and needful needs to be done until after all done before you can say or say otherwise. Okay, Mr. Lega advisor, who knows all? Is he quoting anything outside the law? If law if lawyer cannot acknowledge the laws of the of his country can we see such a legal representative you don't vest yes now the man did he quote anything out of law somebody see mr no sabi sabi mr no or sabi sabi is he quoting law from his own pocket or is he, is he misinterpreting the law because he's saying the truth so automatically you don't want that to happen you are very right, Mr. Falano. Many of these so-called DSS are uneducated. The arrest is definitely illegal, illegally under any constitution, not Nigeria alone. May God help us. They are working for somebody that they are not working on their own. And when they begin to give all these statements, or the press statements, you will see the lies smelling over them. Hmm. Which way, Nigeria? Which way Nigeria? Which way to go? Hmm. Where Nigerians in Nigeria? Where with the uh, Nigeria get law? Who were the people that exchanged gun battle with the DSS? If all of them had submitted to the DSS arrest, there wouldn't have been any death recorded. How I wish our legal luminary could educate the people on the right thing to do when found in such situations hmm. such situations